couple of things. Last night was pretty mad. Uh, Killian texted me at nearly midnight and he's like, do you want to go check out this flood? There's a massive flood in Greystones. I'm like, no, I'm in bed. And he's like, ah, come on. So I was like, all right, cool. So went out, met him. I'll show you all that. And then the other thing is I put up a Q&A on Instagram. So today's video is going to be pretty much answering that. I'm going to take the dogs out now. Um, and I just want to be fully in the dog walk. I don't want to worry about capturing nice footage, nothing. So I'm going to leave this on a time lapse to start the video off. And then I will answer the Q&A after. So enjoy. camera on my roof doing a time lapse. Glass! I know you can't see me but oh you can see me now. This is unreal. This microphone's getting a series doing. It is. Here I might as well I'm going to tell you what I tell the folks. My 80 people. I'm going up to Derry next week on Tuesday. All expenses paid trip. Um, it's for tourism, Northern Ireland. Stay tuned. I'm going to do two videos. I'm going to do one vlogging style video. Hold on. Oh my god. That is mad. I didn't think the rain was like that heavy. Uh, sorry, I'm gonna do one vlogging style video and one kind of cinematic promo we type video, I guess. Which are gonna help me with. Which are much better at that stuff. As in, I don't do that stuff at all, ever. Anyway, I hate to say this. Lads, wait here, what's going on? <laughs> uh, I get a text from Gasman at a what's it, quarter to 12 of a 6th of March. Tuesday. Tuesday, uh, saying that there's a huge, huge flood. Now, to be fair, it hasn't stopped raining for the last maybe hour. It's all part of it. it's building a story here. Last hour, I'd say, is it? It's raining. It's, it's been, been raining for six hours. Bucketing. But he uh, sends me a text saying that uh, there's a huge, huge flood, like worth getting out of bed for a flood. So here we are on the way down anyway. And uh, very exciting altogether. You know, when I stop talking, then I say something else. I know that that part's not going to go into the video. <laughs> oh, it's the new stage. He's on 18. Uh, we're here anyway. There's a fire brigade. Sorry, they're deaf. The lads just can't see me. We're here, there's a fire brigade. They're, oh, I can see them sweeping out the, the chipper, Joe Sweeney's. Yeah. Jeez, it must have been so bad. Look at the road. Wow, that is amazing. And you know how he convinced me of the idea? Good content, he says. Fridge. We're not adventurous enough to get out and we definitely will get in trouble, so we're gonna leave it. We might actually drive around the other side. You'd have to do the backstroke to leave the beach. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna drive around the other side. And uh, have a look from the other another angle. I'm out in the lash and rain, all to capture killing going through this flood for you. Coming through! Look how fucking deep it is. I'm getting Gnarly bra! Oh, I got so Do for the tube! What is up? Q&A time. So I uh, posted a photo on Instagram and I just basically said, ask me a question. And I got a good few questions in. I've chosen seven of the ones that I want to answer. <laughs> and uh, let's get it started. So, how long will you continue the vlog? So I didn't really start out as a vlog, it just started as, well I guess it was a vlog, but I didn't really want to call it a vlog. But um, to answer the question, 
I have an awful habit of like doing something really full on and then moving on to something else but this is the first time that I felt like I've been truly creative like I really like this is time consuming I love it but it's time consuming like the editing can take anywhere from <laughs> like three to six hours it's mad uh, the actual recording's fine I don't really have an answer I guess uh, I'd like to do it I'll do it as long as I enjoy it um, favourite place I've visited um, I really liked Thailand and Nicaragua stood out to me because I had a great experience there mm. Peru was beautiful I liked California I liked New York but for a different reason mm, probably Nicaragua my favourite place in Ireland outside of Wicklow outside of Greystones probably Donegal or Kinsale I love Donegal, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I love Kinsale because I love the people down there. And it's kind of similar to Greystones. <laughs> Who are Cormac and Killian? <laughs> uh, Cormac is a friend of mine from school. We sat together in geography and got remarkably close results. Uh, both terrible results. <laughs> and uh, We became friends through that hung around a lot, probably too much. Both have a keen interest in cars. Uh, I love bikes, he drives them, I don't. <laughs> um, I don't know what to say about Cormac, he's really generous. Super helpful with this. And Killian is his little brother, who I've only really started hanging around with properly in the last couple of years. I went skiing with him. Also super helpful with this. He's an unbelievable uh, video creator. And Cormac's a Mato GP photographer, so I don't know. They're creative people. They're my friends. Um, what do I do for work? <laughs> my job spec is probably coffee trainer. I'm also a consultant for new cafes. Uh, but lately, I've been doing landscape gardening. Because I used to do it years ago with my dad. So to be honest with you, it's whatever brings in the bread and whatever I enjoy at the time. What do I do for work? Like it's a pretty loose, it's a, it's, it's a broad, there's a broad answer for you. What sports do I play? I don't know if I play sports. I participate in sporting events. I do triathlons uh, and I surf and I skate. That's kind of it. How do I always get up early? I don't always get up early. Well. I don't always get up super early. I find in the evening, ex until I did this, but like for the best part of my life, in the evening I didn't really do anything. I wasted it watching telly or eating crap food or talking shite or just scrolling through Instagram. And when I started cutting that out and getting up earlier, so I cut away from my evening and get up earlier, I found my days were more productive because I do stuff in the morning. Whereas from like 7 o'clock on in the evening, I don't really do anything. Because if I get up at 6, I'll do something. If I stay up after 7, I'm not going to get up as early. No, sorry. I got I try and be in bed for like 9. Um, I, I do. I did up until very recently try and get 8 hours sleep a night. But if I have something to look forward to and something to get up early for, I'll, I'll knock out 6 hours sleep and be fine. I've been doing 5 pretty much since I started this vlog which is mad but I don't notice it um because I'm really excited about doing this uh, so that's so I just love this at the moment I really love it um other than that I guess just another one I do is I prep everything I almost have my toothpaste on my toothbrush I have my clothes laid out uh, I usually have my breakfast as ready to go as possible um, and I look forward to making coffee every morning so there I kind of give myself things to look forward to getting out of bed for I try to avoid snoozing if my alarm goes off I get up um, and the dogs help the dogs always want me to get up early so that helps but going to bed early is an obvious one anyway thank you